Hey guys, so we are at the same bait where I caught those other greasy coyotes. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, that one tree is where I caught that one. We're gonna just go check a couple snares here. I think I have one over here. We'll just have a quick look. Got one here. I can't tell exactly how he's caught right now. He's tangled up somehow. Well, I am going to dispatch him and I'll get back to you. Okay, I thought he was maybe tangled up or something that looks like I It almost seems to me like he was at the bait when I drove up buggered off So Oh, that's what happened Yeah, I betcha. That looks like a pretty good neck shot on him. He's a pretty big dog. So I had my snare over here. So he looks like a fairly decent sized dog. I hope I remember I'm gonna weigh him when I get home, but I had that snare set up right in here. He might have actually been caught a little longer than I thought, just looking how he was kind of twisted up there. It was almost knotted, so the ram couldn't open fully because he kind of made a mess over here. We will see if we can't clean this up a little bit. Okay. So this was my trail. I don't know. I almost think I want to move back now to this trail. That's probably what we'll do just because it's a little too messy and I'll be able to hide my ram there. So I will try and back you guys up. We'll see if that works.
quite far enough. I'm actually going to go back again here. Let's see. Turn you guys that way. So we've got a little bit of snow. Nice to be able to kind of see their trails now because I got two baits that I haven't set anything in. I was waiting, waiting, waiting until we got a little bit of snow. So this weekend I might go check them out, kind of see what they look like. So I'm going to switch that out. I can use those other ones on here. It's just ideally I like the length. It's kind of why I guess I went this route. center of my snare is about the height of my knee so I'm gonna kind of leave it like that and we will see what happens they might try and skirt me I don't know I should actually go get my tie wire and go put it on there in case they want to skirt. There. Well, we'll try it and see what happens. I am going to take him to the truck, put the gun away, and we'll go check some more in here. If I make another catch, I'll turn you back on. Otherwise, we'll head to maybe a couple a couple more snares I got out. Okay, I checked the rest of the snares in this bush. This guy, you can see it's a, <clears throat> it is a perfect neck shot on him. I can smell him. He's full of lice. Hopefully, you guys can see this here. So, he is full of lice. I used to call him shoulder knife whatever else but talking to a few guys I guess they're actually rice so maybe the same thing but see if you guys can see that how bad that is I can smell him he stinks real bad so he is going to the burn pile those other two that I caught on my last video there was two of them that I thought were real dirty and stuff, and they were, but they're almost a little, a little greasy. They almost seem like they might, might be early stages of mange or something. So, okay, I'm gonna make this set up. We'll take them back to the truck, and I'll try and turn you on when I get to the next one. Hey guys, okay, we we're at a different bait. Um, <clears throat> I checked two snares, got nothing, came to this third one, looks like I got a pup, but the birds picked them, oh he might not be a pup, nice looking dog other than that gaping hole in him, so that's kind of the the way it goes, I guess, when you give a couple days in between checks.
I see my other snare over there. Um, the coyotes have been going through there. I don't know if one had something in his mouth and popped the snare up and it got snagged on a damn tree. And it kind of stayed up at an angle and they were going through. But I readjusted it now, so hopefully I'll catch them again. That's a pretty good sized hole in this one. Well, we'll take them home, skin them out. We will sew them up. Kind of made a mess of this a little bit. I don't have very many snares in here, but I threw a couple out just to kind of see. Now they've got a little bit of snow, a guy will be able to kind of readjust your rounds and whatnot. Before, I was picking trails that were what looked like coyote traffic. Some definitely were coyote traffic just because of the narrow, narrow trail, narrow grass. But So we're going to try this one right in the open here. That's kind of how it was, but there's a little more vegetation and stuff in here. Okay, I'm just going to lay it there. That'll be the, the easiest route through. So, okay, I'm going to shut you off. If I make another catch, I will turn you back on. Okay, so I'm back home. The one on the left, that's from a couple days ago. So I weighed that one on the right. He's 40.6 pounds, so he's not quite as big, I guess, as I thought he was. Feels pretty heavy. But here's that one. That's one hell of a hole. Them damn birds. They picked his eyes and stuff out too, which isn't a big deal. Usually they start at the rear end, but that's one hell of a hole, so... We'll see, but the fur looks good. They got heavy guard hairs already. They look pretty good. They feel furred up like this guy. He feels real furred up, so kind of anxious to get him skinned and see what he looks like. He feels real nice, but he's a little sandy, I guess, sandy color, but this one would have been a nice, nice coyote, nice white belly. He's a little bit, a little bit dark, but He's not too bad. That other one's a lot darker, I guess. But yeah, so I thought I'd just kind of show you that. But, okay. Thanks for watching. I guess before I forget, this is the coyotes that I caught the other day. They're, they don't look very good. I washed them, cleaned them up. They still look pretty rough. They're real dark. So I'm not too sure. So that's probably too close. But I'm not too sure what I'm really going to do with them yet. So we'll see, I talked to a buddy of mine, he's a real good coyote snare, he snares a couple hundred a year, he knows what he's talking about. He said he's run into this trouble at say pig barns or dead piles, different places like say uh, feedlots are dead piles or uh, pig barns have dead piles where all the coyotes kind of congregate and can feed all year long. Um, the sick ones obviously can come in and feed where if they had to hunt for their own food they probably would die off but in return it gets all the rest of the animals sick and where these two came from that's kind of the situation there they have a constant food supply um, from a butcher so if I'm not taking scraps and whatnot from them he's throwing them in a pit so they can eat there all year so last year I had a little bit of trouble actually I had quite a bit of trouble with uh, shoulder lice and a few mangy ones, I had a couple that were really slimy and greasy. And these guys, probably in a couple of weeks, would have been that slimy and greasy as well. But 
they don't feel very good for it up or anything like these ones aren't quite ready but they feel quite a bit better than these so I'll, these might just hit the burn pile i don't know yet i'm going to talk to another guy kind of pick his brain see what he thinks one guy told me just sell them see what you get for them what you get you get and i guess yeah i could do that i did the work of putting them up and whatnot but as you can see they don't look very good so if i catch any more that look like this i'm not even going to waste my time on them I'm thankful to catch them because at least they're out of the, the population and they're not, these ones at least are not going to get any more coyotes in that area sick. So it is good to catch them. Granted, I'd like, like to have a few more good ones, I guess, on the boards before I start catching these. But usually you catch these sick bastards first, get rid of them, and then it does tend to uh, get better as time goes on. So last year I weeded out quite a few uh out of that area i'm hoping my percentage of good ones will be a lot higher this year but i guess time will tell we will have to see i'm a little nervous my baits aren't getting as getting hit as hard this year so far as i was hoping so but until the next time thanks guys